All right, guys. Peace and greetings to you. This is Dr. O, the PA Pro. Uh, because I have not figured out how to edit my own uh, YouTube videos and I'm doing this off of a, a cell phone, I've got to, you know, kind of mix and mash some of the videos. So I hope you saw part one of how to become a surgical technician. I'm here with, how you introduce yourself? My name is Keisha. I'm a certified surgical technologist. So please see part one of where we were inside the OR, uh, because now we're outside of the OR. I have what's called a, a bunny suit. Yes. On, so my little booty covers here. Covered from head to toe. And then the, the, what is the, His hairnet, yeah. he has on his bonnet, right. he has on his bunny suit, and he has on his foot gear. Yeah, so he is like, fully covered. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we forgot, before I went into the, the OR, I forgot to uh, go to the most important part, yes. which is the hand washing station, yes. the scrub sink. Yeah, this yeah. is a big part before, after you get set up and um, prepared and opened in the OR, you come here to do your scrub. Your first scrub of the day has to be two minutes, um, and we go ahead and scrub. First scrub of the day, two minutes long. Um, after you scrub, you are free to use the Avagar, which is like a quick quick scrub here. It's um, like a dry scrub. Very, very convenient when you're doing stat cases. You really don't have time to do a two minute scrub. Mm -hmm. So we usually do this, you know, um, prior to the first scrub of the day, getting it out of the way. So two minutes on this. After that, any more cases of the day, you are free to use the Avogard. Mm -hmm. Also, do not forget your eye protection wear, you can do these, or the procedural mask. So very, very important step in scrubbing, so. In the movies, <laughs> the TV shows, I always see the person now backing into the- uh, Yes, the yes, and as you enter the suite, that is very important. You go in, you never drop your hands below your waist. You always keep them up, and you always back into the OR such as this, so very good point. Because just in case the people oh, didn't yeah, see the first. Oh, you took, okay. So, <laughs> so I don't know, it's, it's dark in here now, but please see um, part one of the video. Yes. So this is the OR. The lights are on the other side of the room, so we, we don't want to go back in there. Sorry, guys. Yes, yes okay. very good point. You always back into, always keep your hands above your waist. You never drop them after scrubbing, mm -hmm. so. Very good point, Dr. P, Dr. Omar. <laughs> and I guess this is where you, you are. And this is where the doctors dictate mm -hmm. after the surgery, or this is just where they hang out before surgery, when they're waiting for us to get ready and call them in. Mm -hmm. They hang out here, you know, here. Here's their the, little spot. So, the schedule board. And this is our schedule board. Here's where we come in in the morning, and we'll come up here and we'll see what we have for the day, who our surgeon is, who our CNA is, who the circulating nurse will be, and who the scrub tech will be for the day. Okay. So this is very vital for us in the OR. And I think part of, this goes back to what I said about before about being part of the healthcare team, and we all have to uh, speak the same language, so we're using the language of medical terminology. For those of you all that are students, it's very important that you, you master that language. So if I say, well, the podiatrist is going to have a debridement of the, you know, the, the cubitus wound and the metatarsal. You know, we've, we've got to be able to, she's got to be able to know what that means. I've got to be able to know what it means. Right. So we've all got to be on the same page. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And what do we have? There's one more piece of equipment here. This here? Yeah. This machine, actually, we use it today for anyone who is interested in going to, if you're um, going into surgical technology endoscopy, mm -hmm. um, whenever you're doing any bronx, EGDs, any um, gastric cases, um, we would use this tower for that, mm -hmm. going into um, the mouth, the nose, the buttocks, we would yeah. use this machine. Yeah. So this would um, give us our visual for that. Mm -hmm. um, our scopes are kept in the back um, in central sterile, and that's another field that you may be interested in. It's like a step um, under surgical technology where you could learn the instruments, which mm -hmm. is very, very good. Yeah. Um, prior to going into the operating room, it actually helps you out 
with learning the instruments, which is a huge part, you know, that could help you, you know, prior into going to being a surgical technologist. So you, you might want to think about that as well. But this tower is very important if you want to specialize in endoscopy procedures, which is great. So very, very big. But if you want to keep going. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, so we're going to go all the way around. Sure. Yeah. Here is, oh, there is. This is our PACU and recovery. Mm -hmm. This is after the surgery where we bring the patients to recover, wake up, you know, get them stable before taking them back to the floor. Mm -hmm. Here's where the CNA will bring them, you know, okay. just to get them comfortable and wake yeah. them back up, you know, get them stable. Yeah. So here's the PACU. Anybody interested in becoming a nurse, recovery room nurse, mm -hmm. here's your recovery room. So. And yes. then as, as the PA, definitely guys, you're going to have to learn how to do pre and post operative notes on people. Um, very important for communication. And, you know, most of, most of this, we don't do like major surgery here. It's just like wound debridements, yes. peg tube placements. Amputations, yeah. things like that. Yeah. Bronx, yeah. things like that. Amputations kind of major. Yes, very. <laughs> But, but more like, like toes and things like that, digits. Yes, yeah. yes, big here, yeah. very big. So here okay. is our PACU. Okay. All righty, back up out of here. And then we can go over to our sterile processing department mm -hmm. where we process all of our instruments. Here's actually the clean side, mm -hmm. where she puts all of the clean instruments together. Okay. So here's where we come when we need extra trays or extra packets of anything. Um, here we keep everything peel pack, any peel pack instruments the doctor yeah. will request, okay. any trays. And when the instruments are dirty and we're mm -hmm. done with the case, mm -hmm. we will bring them over here mm -hmm. and drop them off and the sterile processing techs will begin the process of cleaning and disinfecting all okay. of our instruments here. Okay. Now, for that machine that I showed you guys, yeah. the scopes, mm -hmm. they go here. Okay. And they get processed. Okay. So, so yes, the autoclave. Yes. Yes. Very big deal, very big deal. So, yes. And that is the complete operating room. All right. <laughs> so, that's for those of you guys that are interested in, you know, becoming a surgical technician. Uh, it's it's a great job. Or if you even want to start out as a surgical technician and become a PA, or even go into medical school and become surgeons, this is a very good way to get exposed to it. Uh, I find surgery exhausting. So <laughs> <laughs> I much I much prefer being a hospitalist. Yeah. Oh come on! <laughs> oh, <there you> go. <laughs> <laughs> this is as close as I come to, to surgery. That may be doing oh, no. a, a central line or two. <laughs> that's it. No, no, no that's, that's, why, that's why the healthcare field is so great because there's so many different things that you can do. Absolutely. And things that can, you know, based on, on what your particular skill set is. Thank you so much for your time. No problem at all. It's no extremely all. busy lady. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I really appreciate your, your time and effort. It. No yeah, problem so, at so all. Thank Anytime. You. Thank you. So you guys, please, please see part one of this video because uh, it, it's, it's it'll give you better context for some of the things about which we discussed. Uh, please subscribe to my site or my uh, YouTube channel rather than and tell your friends. Take care. And then leave your request in the comment section. Um, about other um, people in the healthcare field, other um, jobs that you'd like to see me review. Take care. Peace.